I'm Alex Guarnaschelli from Alex vs. America. We're just gonna break down a chicken today, talk about all the parts and what we can do with them, and then we're gonna make a delicious recipe with the legs and the thighs. All right, a whole chicken. We see it a lot at the supermarket. I'm gonna break it down and just talk a little bit about all the parts, because this is really a diverse thing. How are we gonna cut it up? My first thought is always to remove the wings. I just cut a little bit down on that last piece closest to the bird and I pop it and you can see that bone is nice and clean. You notice how I pull it upward to create the tension so that when I cut, it's nice and even. So we have the drumsticks and the thighs in the front. Come here and just cut a little bit in here. And then we come down and you just pull and there's that thigh bone. It's like chicken comes with dotted lines, right? There's the thigh and the drumstick cut together. Cut a little bit in the middle, cut right through. And then the same thing on the other side. Come around, cut that thigh off, just cut that through the middle. On the bottom here, we have the two little oysters, really a little delicacy, so you don't want to leave those behind. We make a cut right down the middle, right, right close to that middle of the breastbone. See that? I'm pulling the meat a little bit with my left hand, and I'm just cutting through that bone on the bottom with my right. There's that breast. Again, that same thought down over that wishbone, pulling and cutting at the same time. And then the carcass we use for soup, for stock. Now from the recipe I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use chicken, thighs, and legs. Those are longer cooking than the breast meat, so for a braise, a slow cook, a stew, the breasts, good to sear them, brown them, and roast them. The breast meat is definitely leaner. It's got such a great texture. I think a really beautiful taste. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. So we're gonna start with a chicken thigh and leg recipe that is dynamite and a winner. All right, I am gonna make braised chicken with tomato. We are doing this with the thighs and the drumsticks from the chicken. We start by simply seasoning the chicken. These have the skin on them. Don't be cute, don't be shy with the pepper and the salt. Chicken really wants it. You wanna season on both sides. Okay, so I just turn them over. Salt on the other side. Pepper again. Thin layer of oil in the pan, medium to high heat, get that oil hot. Skin side down, that's a good sign. Put your first piece in, move it to make sure it doesn't stick. So I'm gonna brown half of these, which is three thighs and three legs. And once they're like this and you've dropped them in the pan, resist the urge to move them all around. I'm gonna brown them about three to five minutes until we really see that nice brown on the edges, that first skin side then we'll flip them. All right, so once browned, and you can see kind of from the edges on that first side, turn them over and drop them right back where they were for that second side. It's starting to smell like dinner. So these are browned on both sides. They look and smell delicious. So I'm gonna take them out with my cooked chicken tongs onto another tray. Look at that, so good. And now I'm going to repeat the same process with the remaining legs and thighs. All right, so in the same pan where we just browned all that chicken, we're gonna build the sauce, which I love because we're gonna capture and bring in all these brown little bits of chicken in that delicious chicken fat. Two teaspoons of cumin, half a teaspoon of chili flakes in the hot oil for 10 seconds, and then the onions. You wanna stop it, right? The onions come in and rescue the spices from burning. The steam and water escaping from the onions also helps you bring up all those delicious brown chicken bits at the bottom of the pan. Pinch of salt, help draw out the water, add more flavor, and then add in, these are just split garlic cloves. They're gonna cook down and become super tender. A couple tablespoons of freshly grated ginger, whole peeled tomatoes, juices and all. Mix that all together. You can use the spoon to break the tomatoes a little bit in half. The juices will start to come out and mix with the onions. This is our jacuzzi for this chicken. Every time I add something to a pan like this, I put just a little pinch of salt. So I'm gonna add the cinnamon sticks and a few bay leaves, a hint of cinnamon, right? It's not an apple pie, but it's got a little spice note and those bay leaves, which just bring to life the tomatoes, the chicken, everything. Okay, so this is cooked down a little bit. Take a nose bath for a second, because this smells really good. And then add that chicken, you know, kind of park them. Park the chicken. I find at this point the chicken's not cooked, but I'm already picking out which piece is mine. My daughter does that. 
And my daughter loves this dish. This is the kind of dish where she'll come home after a long day of school and look at me like, yeah, I'm glad you're my mom. It doesn't always happen, you know, with a teenager, but this kind of cooking can help. So don't worry about it if when still not cooked, the chicken feels a little crowded in the pan, that's cool. You see the liquid starting to come out of the chicken and mixing together with all those tomatoes. So we'll finish cooking this chicken 30 to 45 minutes until the chicken is cooked through and then we'll eat. All right, so the chicken is all cooked. You can see beautifully browned, but now kind of glazed with that tomato. You can smell those ingredients now, the cumin, the hint of ginger, the garlic. You can see that meat's just get ready to fall off the bone. So I would start with a thigh parked right next to that scoop of rice and a leg, and then just spoon that sauce right over. I mean, you can just, this dish is sort of self-explanatory. I mean, ring that dinner bell. And now, the proof, the taste. I'm gonna go right into this thigh. Look at that bite. Mm. This is such a well-rounded dish. Very versatile for a weeknight or a dinner party. Just delicious.